ya Kenya naibu wako mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa familia ya mwenda zake kiongozwa na seneta wa Nyandarwa seneta Methu na mama mjane mama Janet governor wa Nyandarwa mheshimiwa Badilisha viongozi mliofika hapa majirani marafiki na uombolezaji wenzangu bwana asifiwe Nimekuja hapa nikivaa kofia tatu. Mwanzo nimekuja hapa kama rafiki wa seneta Methu. Pili nimekuja hapa kuwakilisha familia yangu na pia kuja hapa kupeana rambi rambi kwa sababu ama kupeleka rambi rambi zangu kwa niaba ya Senate. Nimesema kwamba seneta Methu ni rafiki yangu. Ni kijana ambao nilimjua wakati anasoma kule Pwani University. A very daring young man. There is a day he just walked into my office. Anatafuta msaada. He never knew me before. Alijua tu kuna governor wa Kilifi and because he was in need he decided to come and knock at the door of the governor and that is the time I go to know about Senator Methu. Ni kijana shupavu sana. Senator Methu speaks very slowly. But he speaks deep. Maneno yake hayambatani na umri wake. He is like those young men that Chinua Achebe was describing. Kwamba you could be a young man but if you wash your hands clean you can dine with the mighty and the kings that is your senator as nyandarwa people and i wasn't surprised when i go to the senate to see senator methu because hata kule pwani alijaribu kutafuta viti vya vya you know the students organizations and universities I remember he ran for one of those uh, positions. Sijuali shinda ama lishindwa, but his task to lead actually started pretty early in uh, in his boyhood days. So nimekuja hapa kufariji rafiki yangu. Pili nimekuja hapa kupeana rambi rambi zangu na za familia yangu. Tatu kuja hapa kupeana rambi rambi za Senate. As a senator we live as a family. The joy of one senator is the joy of all of us in the Senate. And the pain of one senator is the pain of all of us in the Senate. Unlike the National Assembly, we are very few. And that's why we live as a family. Senator yoyote ule kipatikana na janga, we all of us come together and lend a shoulder to that senator so that they can lean on during those turbulent days and that's why today we may not see all the senators present but i want to assure senator methu that the entire senate as an institution is here standing and praying and lifting him in prayer najua wazi kwamba Wingu la majonzi limetanda katika familia hii ya Senator Methu. But Senator Methu is not the only person who's lost a dad. So has the Senate. Because that's how we live as a family. Na nakumbuka kule nakotoka kuna msemo mmoja It's 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 more profound when you speak it in my mother tongue but of course none of you will understand kuna msemo kule unatoka unasema kwamba muhimu bo mukiba makindaga tsongo ganagaya how i wish i could render this in kikuyu but let me put it in swahili see whether you'll understand it muti mkubwa ukianguka 
wana wa ndege ambao wanategemea ule mti bila shaka watayumba na watatapatapa so to the family we know mzee maigo ndali kwa mgumu ndali kwa ule mti mkubwa anashikilia familia hii na kuanguka kwake bila shaka this family will never be the same again basineta methu mama janet and the rest we are here to pray for you tumekuja kuwafariji na kumuombea Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba wakati huu mgumu awapatie nguvu ili wingu hili la majonzi muweze kulibeba and that's why we are here to give you that shoulder to lean on at this very trying moment nikimalizia sitaki kuzungumza mengi lakini nilipokuwa nimekaa hapa viongozi wote ambao wamekuja hapa hususan viongozi wa Nyandarua hakuna kiongozi aliyezungumza na kamaliza mazungumzo yake pasipo kutaja mradi na kumuomba rais kwamba afanye kitu katika ile mradi na si viongozi wa Nyandarua peke yake if you take the president anywhere in this country and you give even a citizen the microphone the first thing they'll say is hospitali yetu barabara yetu maji yetu shida zetu but just like the leaders of Nyandarua they will never go beyond telling the president we need this money to fix this road they will never help the president think how he's going to get the resources to build this road kuna barabara metajwa hapa kuna midland hapa kuna mambo mengi metajwa all those things need money na ni pesa chache ni pesa mingi but nobody bothers to help the president even in thinking how he's going to gate or marshal those resources so that that road can be fixed so that this industry that has collapsed midland can be revived nobody helps the president but i want to tell people in yandarua and kenyans wherever they are this country will not be built by his excellency the president it is upon you and i to build this country using our own sweat in other words our taxes the road that has been talked about here will be built if we pay our taxes there is no other place the president can get money the only other place the president will get his money to build this road is when he goes to the international market and asks for a loan but i want to tell you a loan is a postponed tax because ultimately it must be paid and it's not going to be paid by the president it is going to be paid by you and i it's a tax so ukiona mkenya akijiita kiongozi anapinga mambo ya tax mambo ya ushuru muulize hii barabara itajengwa na nini you know the president doesn't have some sacks ambazo zimewekwa kwa gala pahali ambao mnaomwambia leo rais tunataka barabara hii he runs to Nairobi afungue achukue gunia moja lete nyandarwa no the money that will fix that road is the money that you and I pay every month in form of taxes so we pay our taxes we fix our roads we pay our taxes we fix our hospitals kwa hivyo wakenya wenzangu msidanganywe na mtu awambie kwamba serikali ya mheshimiwa william ruto imeleta mambo ya kutoza ushuru mwingi instead ask the president where are you taking our taxes and he has the answers the plan has been elaborately given to us by my brother kimani ichungwa 
where this man is going. Ukiona mtu anakuambia uchukue sufuria uweke kwa kichwa ili usilipe ushuru that is not a leader. And I want to thank the president for the bold decisions he's made. You know where I stand as the speaker of the senate I'm not here to defend the executive but I'm here to speak the truth. Na nataka kumpongeza rais for the bold decisions he made. You know in this country we have leaders and we have politicians. A leader will take his people where they are supposed to go. A politician will take his people where they want to go. Because all they want ni kura. Watu wako wakisema tukachome hii nyumba kwa sababu utai kuwakosea utasema twendeni. But a leader will tell them no. We cannot do that. Even if that decision will be unpopular with your people, but that is the right decision. And these are the decisions that our president made. Tough and popular, but yet the right decisions. And first, sometimes I used to wonder, is our president going to defend his presidency in 2027? Because he had a very easy thing to do, to play politics for the first five years. Play to the gallery. Hakuna haja kuleta tax nyingine manake ukiweka tax watu watapiga mayowe that's unpopular angeacha he could have gone to the international market borrowed and borrowed and borrowed just like his predecessor but he knew that was not the right thing though it was the most popular decision it was not the right decision for this country because when he took over the reins of this country we were in, in a hole and the first thing you do when you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. Borrowing more would mean continue digging. He decided I'm stopping this hole because this country is already in a deep hole. And he made the bold decisions to take us back to the ground. Those decisions are extremely unpopular. But because of those decisions today, nafikiri viongozi wamezungumza hapa akasema kwamba sasa uchumi umeanza kudhibitiwa vilivyo. Why? Because of those decisions. The president could have decided to continue with the subsidy programs. Unaenda petrol station, unapata mafuta iko chini, but get to know those subsidy programs the kind of money that they're consuming you borrow to subsidize services when these loans mature no tajua cha mtemakuni just ask our neighbors here ethiopia you will get to know that the decision that the president made was the right decision for this country Today, this country is celebrated by international lenders because it's keeping its financial obligations. Why? Because of those tough decisions the president made. Kwa hivyo, mwishimua kimane chungwa, ukisikeo jamaa wanataka kurudi kwa maandamano, just let them be. It should never be our business. Because in this country, there are some people, even if you pipe milk to their kitchens, they will still fight the president. Hatu wafanye nini? Kule pwani tunaita mahasidi, na hasidi hana sababu. They'll just fight. In fact, every Sunday wakenda kanisani, their prayer point number one is may William Ruto fail. Not knowing that the failure of the president is a failure of the country, is a failure of the citizens, is the suffering of all of us. So, ukeona meva masufuria, that should not in any way derail us from the plan. 
And I love the consistency that our president has in implementing the plan. You know, Your Excellency, there's a, a technique I read about in leadership. It is called the Stockdale Paradox. I don't know whether, Ex Excellency, you've read about it, but if you haven't, you're implementing it without even having read it. It is a technique that combines the brutal acknowledging of tough challenges facing you, the reality of today, and then combining that with the wit of believing that because of the programs I'm putting across, we will one day break even. Your Excellency, when you took over the reins of this country, leadership, the facts, the challenges that were facing you, we knew it will take maybe even 10 years to move from where we are. But under one year, we have started seeing the positive changes because of the programs that we've brought about in this country. The only thing we can do is to pray for our president. You know, I was told whenever we go for prayers with the president, Kanisa wanasema kwamba tulimuombea rais akawa rais. That's a good thing. Lakini kule pwani tunasema kwamba kupanda mchongoma si ngoma. Ngoma ni kushuka mchongoma. Praying for the president to be president si huja. Huja ni kumuombea ili afanikiwe katika urais wake. If we prayed for him to, the, to be the president we need to even double our efforts so that he succeeds. I am shocked today that I can see bishops, pastors, who prayed for William Ruto to be the president are the first people to give up. Hapongezi wakata na tibu jipu. Because wakata na tibu lile jipu, ata kofi na pigwa. It is so painful squeezing a boil and unless you squeeze it it will never 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 heal but the process is extremely painful that is exactly what dr william ruto is doing squeezing the boil kenyans we are going to feel the pain true hata mimi i'm feeling the pain nana na sherekea kulipa ushuru hakuna but that is the only way to get the boy healed So let's go through this short campaign for long-term prosperity of this country. And that's why we need to pray for our leader so that he implements fully that plan. Back to the family, Matthew, your siblings, Mama Janet, sote tumekuja hapa na leo tunikumombea mwenyezi mungu airehemu roho Oh, yeah. You know, I used to think I knew people who speak the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. Because every time, as a lawyer, I used to go to court every day. And before a witness testifies, an apatiwa biblia. Na naapa. Kwa mantazunguzo kweli, ukweli mtupu, we mwenye zimungu nisaidie. Then three minutes down the line, ananza kigugumizi. But I came to learn of a man who does not require to swear by the Bible to speak the truth. <laughs> if you know the truth and you're struggling with it, pass the mic to one Deputy President Rigiji. He will take it home. Welcome, Deputy President.